All right, here's uh, my lines for my air compressor now. You can see it's all mounted on this board. So you can basically pick it up and everything right here. So this is what I got going. So I got the inlet air up here to a shut off valve. So I got that guy going out there and then this one I'm going to shoot out there. Here's my release. So all I got to do is just put the brass that I got right there into this and then I got the bigger brass and I'll stick through that hole. So and then I'll mount this. Just screw it right onto that wall. So now I'm going to start working on getting the lines for the air compressor. So, I mean, if you guys want to make this same setup, I can uh, tell you exactly all the pieces I used. So, you can, if you want, if you decide that you want something like this and you're kind of confused you don't want to go and actually when I got done I had no extra pieces so let me set this thing down real quick alright so these are the only pieces I have left so I put this mounting bracket down here to hold that tight I put the bell shape up at the top just because it was it would fit right here, but I decided to put them up there because the top of this screws. So it's mounted really good. It's not going to move at all. So I turned that valve just a pinch on an angle. Kind of slides underneath, but as you can see. So I just tilted, actually just tilted it. So I can actually kind of get to it too because it's going to be kind of close. Then I got this valve, so I got more than enough room besides on the side of the air compressor. So, I'm trying to get these shoved in there. It's not really working too well. So, put this back right here. So I'm not jabbing you in the eye. That's in. So we're we're golden. So we got that all put on. So put the cover back on. So now, I still got to hook up my other end. So here's my other end. Which, all I got to do is put this plug in. And back the camera up. So I got the wire, and I got the plug in. So 
I'm going to do this. So we open this first. So remember, on 240, both sides are going to be hot. You got your ground, and then these are both. Sure, this is gonna be long enough, so I'm just gonna start mounting these. Let's knock it all off here. You got a tape set up or something. So I kind of like how that it slides right in this little hole and it kind of clamps it. There we go, we got these two on. And it doesn't matter what side, the black or the white, they're both hot, so. So we'll put the ground. kind of weird I got the racetrack it's like like five miles from my house and I could hear the cars right now just ripping it up it's crazy This is what I got going so far. 
you can see. So now this listen this guy up. Hey there, I wanted to show you how I set up my air compressor and how I set up my little room that I built right here so I could kind of close it off. I got an insulation board, it's one inch thick, and it works pretty well. It kills the sound, but it only goes up to here. So I got a little, little thing right there, and it just wedges into the top that's why I could uh, shut it and it kind of kills a lot of the sound it really kills a lot of the sound so this is how everything looks I got a shut off valve right here this is a three quarter inch going into the half inch with a shut off valve and then an elbow going into a 50 feet of half inch hose. So I got it just looped around this bracket. I've talked to some painters here in this valley and they've done this and it works fine. I'm not painting every day. And this is basically just for painting. I'm not, I have a little air compressor right here. This little cobalt I've had for, uh, dang, I think I bought this in 2006, maybe 2005, so I've had that, and it's 2019, so I've had that for a long time, that thing works great. I just put on a new gauge here, other than that, great air compressor. So that's why I went out and bought this 80 gallon, five stage, or five horse, two stage uh, cobalt. But it's actually, it's a Campbell and Hossfield. Campbell and Hossfield. So I wanted to show you how I set up all my dryers. And how I hooked it up so like I said, it's coming through the back of that air compressor from over here. It's going into that air line. And then it's looping into this line. It has a union. And it's coming up a four feet of um, black iron pipe. So it's back here. Then there's another union at the top. And then it's coming back six inches and then it's dropping another four feet. And then it's going through six inch pipe. And then it drops down, I think that's eight inches with a, sh with a um, drain. Then it's coming up 18 inches with an elbow, with a two and a half into an elbow, into an 18, into a T with a one and a half inch I'm thinking that's what those are or this is a three inch and these are two inch pipes with another shut off valve an elbow a reducer so remember this is all half inch piping and then a reducer from half inch to quarter inch with an air valve that's so I could just do whatever I want and not have to worry about you know if I don't care that there's water or whatever getting into the air tool or whatever I'm using I can use this line or airing up a tire or whatever so it comes down to another three inch then it has an elbow into a six inch to an elbow to a two and a half inch and to another shut off two and a half and then a shut off and then a two inch where this is my um, regulator with a with a filter 
with the drain. And then here's another filter. And it's coming through six inches. And then it's uh, el uh, elbow. Then there's eight inches. And then a T with a two inch pipe. That's this one, two inch. Then it comes into a T. Before we do that, it's going down. So this is actually just a bracket that's held on to the wall. So this is a, a two inch pipe. And then another shutoff with a two inch with a, that is a um, elbow, but that's a female with a male elbow with a reducer. So a half inch reducer to a quarter inch reducer coming out a brass quarter inch pipe that's four inches long. <coughs> now this one, <clears throat> so now we already went that way. <coughs> now we're coming back this way. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> so this is 12 inches. This is an elbow, another two inch with another elbow. And then this came with the filter. All this came with this uh, QC3 cam air from Deviblis. So I've heard goods and bads about this, but this was a very good deal on Summit. So it came with the regulator and your churn down valve. The only thing I had to buy was this quarter inch elbow with a six inch quarter inch tube coming through the hole. And same thing there. And then right here, then we got 18 inch pipe coming down with another bracket and another shutoff valve for my drain and then all these have drains you know there's a drain on this there's a drain on this so you just want to make sure everything is drained like i got my drain actually see that i got it open right now and i have this open because this is closed when it's turned so i don't know if you can see that so i keep that open I keep my main one open because this would be shut off. I want to keep it open so that everything's draining and it's drying. And I've started this up a few times. I have not used the air compressor yet. But I am definite that my setup is going to work. So four feet with four feet, a drop with unions. I've already tested it. There's no air leaks. It holds air. So here's my paint booth. So I got lights up here. It doesn't seem like it's bright right now. It looks real dim. Like how's that a paint booth? Sorry for doing back spins. So I got a big fan right here. This is a 20 inch. So I'm gonna another, put another fan on the door. This is a big pile of garbage that I when I unmasked the car. I got it all buffed out. It's like a Cadillac. It's a Mustang, but it, it's shiny. So I'll turn on my lights so you guys can see how bright it is. Actually, I had some lights back here, but I already I took those down. So it's not going to be as bright because that's one of them. See the one in the corner right there. There's a light right there. And then over here, I got two more lights. So I actually mount a light right here. So I got this fin that I need to still cut and buff. It's got some runs in it, but that's fine. Um, so this uh, light, I... Sorry, let me zoom out. 
I end up putting it back here, but I have these lights and these are pretty bright. So let me turn these on. There's that light. how bright it is so it's pretty bright that's what I wanted because if you're painting dark colors you really need a lot of light so and like I said I put another set of lights in the back and then I have another light that I put up front on an angle right against the, the door and then it really brightens up in here then it's like a there's their compressor so let me throw this on the stand and I'll put the little door on there so you guys can all see how this all works here we go I'm gonna put this thing back on this is a back a little bit maybe get a better view what we're trying to do and then I'll do a close-up so more than enough hose I spent a lot of money so we don't even want to get involved in the money that I spent just to do what I did right here but this is you can buy the maximizer 3000 and get the job done now or you can spend millions of dollars like I did. I'm trying to buy more spray guns and air pressure and somewhere you can put a big heavy sucker and this, that, and And there we go. That's how it is. That's how it looks. So I just got a little turn knob right there. I just hold it on so I could easily take it off like I said this is not a permanent thing here eventually I want to get a shop one day and so I can move into a real shop with a real paint booth I don't have to do this in a garage but I mean it's a big enough garage that I can do it in here and not have any trouble I wish I could do something with that motor because if I could do something with that motor right there I think I could throw that big old toolbox right here. We'll see. Anyway, that's how it looks. So it's got like a little crack at the bottom here. That's fine. But see, it's got it's all opened up right here, down here. So that means that it's getting air in there. It's getting air in there. So it's not like it's totally closed off, but it like kills the sound massively. So with the acoustical tile that I put on here and with some one by ones. So I just got a one by one going up, screwed to the top plate. And then I got that board screwed to this um, cabinet, which the cabinet opens up enough to get whatever I need out of there there's I mean the thing is so small inside there like those little cabinet areas are so small you can't get hardly anything in there anyway so this will be helpful so when I go to start painting that I don't have anything I just make sure that I pop that off I check my pressures 
get my pressure where I need it and then plug in and then adjust at the end of the gun and then here's for my turbine so this one's actually right right where I want it that one's kinda a little bit far away it'd be nice if it was a little bit over here but it's kinda cool because then having it there then I could either jump to that side of the car or I could jump to this side of the car without having it like a lot of the paint booths I see they always mount it like say where my hoses are mounted which those hoses are not gonna be there all the time there's just there for now because I didn't know where to put everything so anyway most of the paint booths they put their regulators and stuff right here and so you have a chance of you know kind of whacking things I think this is a little bit better shot you know I could just run my hose straight from here straight to the side of the car or I could just easily just come and whip my way around instead of having to have my hose from over here wrapped all the way all the way around my whole car you know so if it's coming from over there I could just zip and then it's coming you know zip so the only part it'll be getting far is if I get way over here which I, I could actually paint from this side bring my hose and do my painting and then come back around on the other side and pick up from there and head so it's it's lit up in here oh I'm gonna mount I got another fan so I just took this fan wanted to show you that too um, so I had that little guy right here mounted into the door it works fine but actually you know what I could do is actually I could just make a little funnel and I could have it blown inside here you know what I mean because it'll just be recycling in and out to bring that cool air inside the air compressor room and then I have another so what that fan is that's not an industrial fan okay which I got some Mickey Mouse cords and stuff going on I'm gonna fix all that here soon so what I got here is this fan this is the exact same fan that I have mounted in the window and you could look it up it has it's 6000 CFM at full speed so that's a lot I mean that's more than most exhaust fans you buy for a, you know thousand dollars for your paint booth so I'm gonna have two of these and then I bought this attic exhaust vent and I'm gonna make a uh, wood um, little pop out thing and I'm gonna mount it I'm gonna cut the door because I don't care this door already has a um, a doggy door which I don't have dogs that small my dogs are way bigger than that so I'm just gonna cut it out and I could just buy another door that I could just pop on here when I'm not painting and then just pop this door on here it's just some hinges you know super easy but anyway so I'm gonna mount a fan just like that big gigantic one right there right here right in this door I think it'll work out great because when I was like when I'm over here painting it's fine because all the air is blowing that way but when I'm over here painting it's actually just blowing right back in my face and so that's why I need something that I can go over here I know that when I'm painting here is gonna be blowing in my face but I'm not painting the whole front of the car all the time but even when I'm painting over here it's still blowing in my face it's not actually blowing out the window so then I that's where I got my vent so I got my two vents right there with a fan so it's actually pushing in air 
And then I got that one sucking air out with this double zipper door. And I get it really, I mean, you can, when I have this thing, dude, this plastic sucked to the wall, which I bought more plastic. I got another set here, another set here, which I think I'm going to mount that. I think I might mount that on the other side. And then I think I'm going to put another sheet of plastic on this wall. The ceiling's fine. I stapled the living crap out of it. So, I mean, it's not sagging at all. So, other than that, we're ready to rock this joint, and it gave me some space up there. That was nice. But, I got too much stuff. And nowhere to put it all. Alright guys. I'll let you get back to your normal life. Looking at another video.